Hello, and welcome back to Cartography and Geography Club. Today, we're off to explore the interesting land of Miramar. And don't worry, we've got our map making tools ready, so no one's getting lost today. We'll dive into Miramar's rich history, its current geography, and territorial disputes shaping the nation's borders. So buckle up, adventurers, because this potentially rocky journey is going to be more informative than deciphering ancient hieroglyphics. And for those feeling particularly adventurous, you can also build your own map with us and submit it for this season's prize pack. See techassemble.tech for more information. So let's dive in. Miramar's rich history is a testament to its ancient and complex culture. Before the advent of European colonization, the region was a cradle of civilization, home to various indigenous people, including the Piu and the Mon civilizations, which settled the area around 2000 BCE. The Bamar people, who arrived later, have a shared history and culture. They are predominantly Buddhist and form the majority ethnic group in Miramar, with a significant presence in neighboring countries as well. The ancient kingdom of Piu, which flourished from the second century CE, was located in the central part of Miramar. It played a significant role in early Southeastern Asian trade networks. As a hub of trade, it facilitated cultural exchanges between India, China, and local indigenous groups, contributing to the development of Miramar's diverse cultural traditions. Piu's influence is evident in the region's art, language, and religion, bl blending indigenous beliefs with Hindu and Buddhist elements. This early kingdom set the foundation for later Burmese states, reflecting Miramar's rich and complex ancestry. The indigenous people of Miramar have long been adept at harnessing the land's potential, cultivating a variety of crops resilient to the region's tropical climate. They have embraced rice cultivation in the fertile plains and adopted slash and burn agriculture in the dense rainforests. Innovations such as rubber and palm oil plantations have transformed Miramar into a significant exporter of these commodities. The social fabric of Miramar is intricately woven with its diverse ethnic groups. The major groups include the Bamar, the Shan, the Karen, and the Rakhim, and numerous indigenous people known as the Shin, Kashin, and Mon. These groups have played pivotal roles in the societal, political, and economic life of the country. The Bamar, as the largest ethnic group, predominantly inhabit the central regions. These cultural and political influences are significant, with historical kingdoms such as the Bagan playing crucial roles in the region's history. The Shan, primarily residing in the eastern regions, have been instrumental in the agricultural development of Miramar, particularly in the highlands. The Karen community, mainly located in the southeastern region, has contributed to Miramar's cultural diversity, particularly in the fields of agriculture and services. The indigenous Chin, Kashin, and Mon groups each have their own unique languages and cultures, have historically lived in harmony with Miramar's diverse ecosystems. These communities continue to maintain traditional lifestyles while navigating the challenges of modernization and development. The pre-colonial period in Miramar was characterized by a network of maritime and inland kingdoms such as the Bagan, Ava, and Tongu. These kingdoms engaged in complex political dynamics with allegiances and territories often shifting due to conflict, strategic alliances, and migrations. This era saw significant interactions through trade and diplomacy, with influences from India, China, and the Arab world. The social landscape was dynamic, marked by the movement of people, including traders and settlers, and the rise and fall of local chieftains and kingdoms. This history reflects a legacy of resilience, adaptability, and cultural Sinaiacry, laying the groundwork for Miramar's diverse cultural heritage. As European powers entered the scene, they encountered a land with a rich history and a complex web of societies. 
The subsequent colonial period brought significant changes to the region, but the legacy of Miramar's indigenous civilizations continues to influence its culture and identity even today. The European colonization had a profound and multifaceted impact on Miramar, reshaping its social, political, and economic landscapes. European con colonization divided Miramar in territories governed by Britain and established colonial rule in Burma, now Miramar. These divisions disrupted traditional territories and altered the balance of power among ethnic groups. The colonial powers imposed new administrative systems favoring certain groups over others, which reconfigured social dynamics and hierarchies. Economically, the Burmese were integrated into colonial societies that shifted the focus from traditional trade networks to European-dominated markets. Socially, the introduction of European governance systems and education disrupted traditional structures and roles, leading to changes in social organization. The chaotic situation post-independence saw the emergence of ethnic tensions, sometimes exacerbated by foreign actors, including those from former colonial powers. Overall, European colonization had a lasting impact on Miramar, affecting its territorial claims, social structures, and political power, with effects still felt today. The current borders of Miramar are the result of a complex history of colonialism, tribal territories, and international agreements. In the late 19th century, European powers established control over different parts of Burma through the series of treaties with local kingdoms. Britain established the province of Burma with British India and later administered it as a separate colony. These borders were often drawn arbitrarily without regard for the traditional territories of the indigenous people, leading to the division of communities across modern national boundaries. After gaining independence in 1948, Miramar's borders included the former British territories. The legacy of the colonial era and the fluid nature, nature of ethnic territories have significantly influenced the current borders of Miramar, leading to ongoing debates and conflicts over territorial claims and national identity. Let's talk about some of Miramar's current border disputes. The situation between Miramar and Bangladesh has escalated rather than improved. Recent events indicate a significant increase in tensions along the Bangladesh-Miramar border. On February 5, 2024, over 100 Miramar border guard police personnel illegally crossed into Bangladesh and were disarmed and interned by the border guard of Bangladesh. This incident is part of a larger conflict as southeastern Bangladesh faces persistent attacks from Miramar forces, including gunfire, mortar attacks, and gunship strikes. The ongoing civil war in Myanmar, particularly the intense fighting between the Myanmar government force, forces and the insurgent Arakan army in Rakhine and Chin states, pose a serious security threat to Bangladesh. Internally, Myanmar is facing several challenges. The country's economy is reportedly regressing and there are accusations of the military junta's involvement in illicit financial transactions. The violence has intensified with the UN stating that Miramar's conflict and violences have devastating impacts on human rights and the basic needs of millions, as well as causing alarming spillover effects in the region. The military has suffered significant losses and there is a nationwide armed conflict that began after the army ousted the elected government in February 2021. More than 2.7 million people across Miramar are internally displaced, with 800,000 displaced since October 2023. These developments suggest that Miramar's ability to manage its internal divisions and foster peaceful international relations is currently under severe strain. The resolution of border disputes and internal issues remain crucial to Miramar's stability and development, but the country faces significant obstacles in achieving these goals in the current geopolitical environment. Now that we have established Miramar's borders, let's map our journey through Miramar's diverse geography. 
where the land whispers tales of both beauty and hardship. Nestled in Southeast Asia, Miramar spans approximately 676,000 square kilometers, sharing its borders with China, India, Bangladesh, Thailand, and Laos. Make sure you have lots of different colors because the Miramar landscape is indeed a realm of stark contrast and rich diversity. The Shan Plateau forms the backbone of Miramar, stretching from the Chinese border in the north to the Kayan State in the south. These mountains are part of the country's rugged interior, which also include the Chin Hills, a popular highland region known for its scenic beauty and cool climate. The coastal plains of Miramar are home to some of the country's largest cities, including Yangon, the capital, and Malade. The fertile plains all along the Irrawaddy River support agriculture, particularly rice cultivation, which is a staple of the Burmese diet. In the northern regions, the Kashin state boasts diverse landscapes from the dense rainforest to the towering peaks of the Himalayas. The Aradawi River, Miramar's longest river, is renowned for its biodiversity, including rare and endangered species such as the Asian elephant and the Bengal tiger. The environmental situation in Miramar has indeed worsened since the military coup. UN experts have warned that the military takeover has not only caused a human rights and humanitarian crisis, but is also increasing the climate vulnerability of people of Miramar. The military junta's isolation from the global economy and need for funds have led to an accelerated exploitation of natural resources, including timber, jade, and rare earth metals. This exploitation is degrading the environment polluting water sources, ravaging forests, and exacerbating climate change risks. Illegal logging and mining activities have surged, causing extensive deforestation and environmental damage. The previous government's nationwide logging ban has been undermined, and satellite data shows extensive areas of central rainforest that have been chopped down. Illegal mining, particularly rare earth elements in northern Cashin Mountain Zone, have devastating consequences for the region's ecosystem and inhabitants. The over-exploitation of fish stock has also contributed to a severe decline in Miramar's maritime fish resources, reportedly by as much as 90% since 1979. Miramar has suffered massive climate change losses, ranking as the world's second most affected country between 2000 and 2019. The recent Cyclone Mocha in May 2023, also, though less deadly than Cyclone Nar Nargis in 2008, exposed the fragility of local communities due to the declining state assistance. These developments highlight the urgent need for international support for local communities and organizations through flexible funding for localized climate mitigation and adaptation programs. It is crucial to avoid official engagements with the military junta and instead support pro-democracy and opposition institutes that are developing climate and natural resource policies, as well as environmental groups defending Miramar's forests, wildlife, and biodiversity. It is clear that Miramar's borders and geography will continue to impact Southeast Asia's region. I can't wait to divide into other aspects of the country over the next month. Thank you for joining me today, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and join our Patreon for bonus materials on all subjects. Have a great week, and don't forget to never stop learning.